Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this army showcase video. We have an awesome Nurgle, Demons and Death Guard army for the guys over at SM Battle Reports who, if you don't know, you should go and check them out. They'll be in the description of this video, a link to their websites. Um, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, then here at Siege we are UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who paint to various different levels that we have here at Siege, starting at a bronze above tabletop entry level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Uh, if you're interested in a quote, very simply, all you need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. If you just click on that Get a Quote link, it will take you directly to our contact form on our website where you can fill out all the different options that you want from the drop down of options that are available. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is shown on the website and also on the contact form. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at this very colourful uh, Nurgle Demons and Death Guard army. I'll see you guys back in a second. So first up on this awesome SN Nurgle slash Death Guard army face uh, showcase video, we've got the, the great Spoilpox Scrivener character. Really, really cool model. Uh, and it gets you guys to see the really cool purpley blue kind of scheme that Simon's gone for on these uh, Plague Bearers uh, and also the characters as well. So we'll pull him forward so you can have a look at him from the start and uh, just from the front. And again, absolutely dripping with detail, excuse me, the pun, but really, really cool model. You've got all the scrolls, you've got the little Nurgling eating the scroll there. You've got this other beast that's coming out of him with his more and teeth and gums and wet tongue and all of this. Uh, all the details on the scroll as well, as you can see there. Uh, and then we'll move it around. You've got this lovely sort of feather quill that he's got here that, that Simon's done some stellar highlighting through the different stages of purples and pinks as well. Uh, moving around, obviously, you've got this kind of slug-esque kind of creature that's attached to him as well that's uh, obviously kind of growing out of his mouth kind of thing. It's, it's just a very, really cool model. Uh, but we'll move around just so you can see, obviously, the back of him, all those like sort of uh, the runes and bits and bobs that Simon's painted on there just to add all those those sort of incantations and things that he's writing down. Uh, really cool. Um, you've got all the little pustules and things that are done in the yellow kind of a complementary colour just, and you'll see that through the force throughout this video. Um, if we look at the teeth and more and have a look at that on that kind of slug thing, you've got all the teeth all painted, nice texture added to the tongue there as well, all the individual teeth and everything done. Uh, the eyes highlighted in a lovely yellow fashion as well, just to show that kind of demonic energy inside him. Um, all the nails, points of catch lights are all done as well. And they've got this really cool little Nurgling here. And you'll see quite a few cheeky little Nurglings through the video as well. <laughs> so get used to seeing them. Uh, but really, really cool character to uh, lead this demonic phase for the guys at SN. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at all the uh, infantry. There's 30 Plague Bearers coming at you. So get ready. They're up next. Uh, see you guys back in a second. So up next we have all the Plague Bearers from this really cool SM Battle Reports army. Uh, really cool colourway straight away, obviously you've got that lovely purplish colour to the skin on the Plague Bearers. And they do have a variation of tone as well. Um, Simon's done a great job of using sort of blue accents to really sort of distinguish the models uh, from each other, which is really cool. And I'll demonstrate that by putting a few of them forward. Uh, so just to start off from the get-go, we'll have a look at some of these really cool uh, Plague Bearers. And you can see here, lovely, lovely purple colour on the skin with blue highlights on the highest points, which is really nice. That's a very ethereal etheric kind of look to them um, you've got obviously all the pustules and things done in a lovely sort of contrasting yellowish golden color uh, with some wet pus that's also running down from some of the cysts and things as well and open sort of tears in skin and flesh uh, cheeky little nurgling there just dangling off his guts as well <laughs> so that's just him uh, and then we'll pull forward a few of the more specialist models from each squad so you've got the musician here again with all these guts open there as you can see lovely wet kind of finish on those all the pustules and everything picked out a nice rusty blade across the force all of them have these rusted kind kind of chipped kind of blades, uh, which is really nice. Again, you've got all the pustules and things picked out there. Another cheeky little Nurgling just dancing away in front. Uh, we've got what I would call the champion for the unit as well here. So that's just him carrying some lovely dead people's heads, as well as you can see there. Uh, but lovely tinge of colours and even got some pinks and things added on here just to really vary up the tonal variance on the models and make them distinguished and different from each other, which is really lovely. Uh, Someone's done a stellar job on these. And we'll pull forward the icon from the unit. As you can see, that brass with loads of verdigris and chipping and scratching done on it as well. All his guts and everything, teeth there nicely highlighted, eyes and everything, all the pustules done again in that lovely complementary yellow. Uh, and then just to show you a little bit of a tonal variance from model to model. So if we have a look at, say, for example, uh, let's have a look at this chap here and then have a look at this chap. You can see the difference in how blue this guy on the left is to this guy on the right. And that variance does go throughout all the, all of the Plague Bearers and from unit to unit. So you do get a very individual set of models. 
Um, especially with Nurgle and with demons like this, you do want them to look varied. You don't want them to look as uniform, say, for example, like a squad of Marines or something like that. Uh, and it does give you a lovely, lovely overall kind of ragtag kind of finish to the units and also to the army, which is what you'd expect with Nurgle. Uh, so again, just a couple more of the Plague Bearers here just to pull them forward just randomly from units, just so you can have a look. Again, another little Nurgle in there dancing away. <laughs> um, but again, you can see all the individual aspects of detail fully highlighted and fully painted throughout from model to model, giving you a lovely, lovely finish on these uh, Plague Bearers. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the Beasts of Nurgle, plus also the Blight Haulers. They're coming up next, so stick around. Uh, they're going to see those awesome models coming up next. So up next we have the Blight Haulers and also the Beasts of Nurgle. Two very, very different sets of models, but uh, Simon's done a stellar job just making them look very unique, especially for the Beasts of Nurgle. And uh, obviously to follow the original phase of uh, Death Guard, which we've done, we've got these Blight Haulers painted in that white ivory kind of uh, scheme that we've done with some blue accents and gold as well. Uh, so let's start by looking at the Blight Haulers. Again, really, really cool models. Uh, loads of little aspects of detail that Simon's done a great job picking out. All those teeth there, all fully painted and everything, which is really nice that lovely moor as you can see there uh, that demonic kind of beast that's coming out of the uh, the shell uh, obviously you've got the missile racks you've got obviously these uh, sort of pyre parts here all these stacks here as well which have all been painted in that lovely complementary purple which matches them in nicely to the um to the plague bearers moving around over the back got that lovely pallid kind of flesh pulpy kind of finish with all that sort of green pus just dripping out of like all the orifices and vents and things which is really cool uh, and then moving around obviously you've got that lovely subtle purplish pinkish tinge and all the pipes and everything there as you can see all the metal work done in a lovely fashion and highlighted in a lovely lovely level uh, and then obviously you've got these blue sort of accents on the white which is very much akin to the rest of the uh, the death guard which we completed for the guys at SN uh, and then just pulling forward the other two very quickly as you can see so all the lenses done on this one as well as you can see there um, but again the same consistency from model to model to give you that really lovely finish on these uh, and pull forward the last one just so you can see that one as well again really 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 cool models uh, do very much like these um, so that's just the uh, blight haulers and then let's have a look at these beasts of Nurgle. Some really, really cool models and um, very, very unique. Uh, and what Simon's done with the painting of these is made each one individual. So it has a very unique look to it. And you can see that the ripped stomach that we've got there uh, on this one uh, with all the uh, guts and organs leaking out there and vi vital fluids all dripping out there, as you can see. Uh, nice lacerated tongue there as well, just to obviously catch anyone off guard. Uh, all the horns and everything highlighted. And the same consistency with all the pastels and things painted in that complementary kind of yellow, just to match in with the plague uh, bearers as well. Uh, and all the sort of tentacles and things done in a lovely pink as well just on this one. So that's just the first of the three. And then what Simon's done is rotated the colours around as he's moved to the next one and added a completely different uh, colour palette to those. Uh, like the fact that the flesh on this is very similar to the sort of colours used on the armour of the Death Guard as well. Uh, but all the rips in the flesh there with that green ooze just dripping out. Obviously his maw is wide open with all that green pus coming out of it there as you can see. Uh, all the tentacles done there in a lovely sort of uh, tan colour as well which is really nice. Uh, so that's just the second one. And then the third one, uh, again, Simon's rotated the colours and done something very different. This is probably my favourite one out of three just because of all the teeth on his belly. I uh, just think it's quite funny. Uh, again, you can see all the pustules and everything done in that complementary yellow there as we see. Uh, but moving around, really, really lovely finish from model to model. Super, super cool finish and lovely detailed models that Simon has executed for the guys at SN. But overall, really, really cool uh, models, just the details and everything. Uh, and that's the three uh, beasts of Nurgle. So I do hope you like those guys. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the army all again in its glory. And you can find out a bit more about how to take a project out with us here at Siege. Good to see you guys back in a second. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I do hope you've liked this army showcase for this Nurgle Demons and Death Guard force for the guys over at SN Battle Reports. And once again, if you are unfamiliar with the guys at SN, do check them out. They have an awesome YouTube channel and also a great website with various forms of content for you guys to check out Battle Reports in, in written format and also in video as well. Uh, if you are interested in a commission, be it an army uh, character or anything like that at all whatsoever, then all you need to do very simply is click on the link below in the description where it says get a quote. That will take you directly to the Siege Studios contact form on our website. Site, complete all the drop down options that are relevant for your project and select the ones that are appropriate for you. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format and uh, then fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it ever so much. Do go give us a follow and like respectively on all our social media, which can also be found in the description of this video. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, give the video a thumbs up, drop some comments below, let us know what your favorite Chaos Demons are. And then finally, give us a subscribe. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified as soon as as the, uh, as the videos go up. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for checking the video out, guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.
I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys, so thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.